Hello! So last time I saw you I was in the process of painting a lily pond inspired piece. So I'm just gonna jump straight into the rest of that process so I can show you the final painting.
This piece really evokes a deep melancholy inside of me, bordering on sadness. It's such a stark representation of how I've been feeling this year in general and this time of year more specifically. After I finished it and I took a step back from it, the full scale of what my unconscious was trying to express sort of hit me really hard. I know my work can be dark, but in all the pieces I paint, I never want them to just express one difficult emotion. I always try to include some element of hope and of levity and of brightness. So for example in Struck I included that little cottage up in the corner of the painting with the lights on and the door open to sort of feel warm and welcoming. And in Nurture I made sure that the expression of the character and the gestures of, the, of its body were sort of peaceful and calming. And in this piece that you've just seen me finish, which I've titled Shelter, the flowers are the element and the detail that are there to brighten up the piece and bring an element of beauty and calm and sort of renewal and hope in the whole composition. But I can't escape the fact that at its core, this piece is essentially about feeling overwhelmed and isolated. The external elements can't be avoided, the water is seeping in from below and from above, there's nothing that can really provide true shelter from those elements. The character is meant to be in a position where it's trying to both shelter itself, protect itself, and is also tentatively reaching out to try and understand what is going on, try and take it into its stride, and try and appreciate the beauty of the situation and the context it's in. I chose to centre this piece around water because I find it fascinating as an element. Water is so strange to me. It's this odourless, more or less tasteless, colourless element that is everywhere. It's ever-present, it's uncontrollable, it's fickle, it's what makes up a lot of what we are. We need it to be alive. It's a source of life and growth and its potential for symbolism is virtually endless and really multi-layered. So this piece hits home in ways I didn't fully expect it to. It will be my last big painting of the year and it feels quite fitting in a lot of ways. And uh, I I hope that you guys will like it too. And as always, I'd, I'd love to hear what you see in it and how it makes you feel and maybe your personal projections onto it, whatever it wakes in you, because that adds to a piece always. It's always very interesting to see how that piece comes to life for other people. You can get prints of it in my shop. I won't ship until after the new year, but, um, if you would like to get yourself a copy of it, it's available as a print in my store. That was the last piece I was going to paint of my five painting series, which I started a while back now. I have one more concept to finish if I want to paint all five, but I'm not going to tackle it this year because I'm completely burnt out. I have, the last few weeks have been an absolute struggle <laughs> to get anything done, and so I'm not going to tackle a big piece right now. I'm going to try and do other things, working with my sketchbook, that sort of thing, and then I'll pick up more serious work, like a big painting, in the new year. After I finished this painting, I had a couple weeks of intense clerical work. I had lots and lots of Patreon rewards to catch up on. Lots and lots and lots of printing and cutting and signing and packaging. I also had a bunch of orders to fulfil, thanks to those of you guys who took advantage of my holiday sale on my shop and everyone who ordered anything on either sides of that also. And I do generally really enjoy having bouts where I have to package a lot of things because it's so much less mentally intense than painting. I can put a podcast on, turn my brain off for a few hours and it's those kinds of tasks that are really satisfying to tick off the to-do list. They are very, there's a very clear beginning and end to tasks like those in a way there isn't to creating art. So it's nice to alternate between something like art that is a little bit more abstract as far as productivity and uh, tasks completed and have something a bit like packaging orders or doing admin tasks where it's very clear when they're finished and ticking them off a to-do list is feels very fulfilling <laughs> so that was really enjoyable for a few weeks 
The packaging process this time around was made extra fun because I had some cool packaging supplies I designed as part of a collaboration with the company No Issue. You might be familiar with No Issue already, I think they have collaborated with quite a few artists so far, but they are a customizable eco-friendly packaging company. I'll have a link in the description of this video so you can check out their eco-friendly pledge and their products. I would love to shift my business towards a more environmentally friendly practice and although I can't quite afford it fully yet, this is a step in the right direction at least and it's helped me check out some of the supplies that I might be able to use in the future. No issue sent me some custom stickers, a custom stamp with ink pad and some custom tissue paper and they're all absolutely stellar quality. I'm so happy with the products. I really especially enjoy the tissue paper. It's probably the best tissue paper I've ever had <laughs> so far. I was a little stumped as to how to design the paper initially. I don't think a cute pattern really suits my brand very well, so I went for a slightly more minimalistic design and I'm really happy with it. I'll be using all those supplies to package Patreon rewards as well as originals while my stock lasts. And the company also offers custom tape, which I hope to try out someday. So thank you to No Issue for letting me try out some of their products. I'm really happy with them. Make sure you check out the link in my description. And I hope to be able to go towards a more eco-friendly perspective with my business in the future. I've not been super well physically the past two or three weeks. Pretty sure I had an iron deficiency. I used to take supplements that had been prescribed by my doctor after I got some blood tests done earlier this year. Uh, and I ran out and then sort of thought maybe I was okay. And But it's been like two or three months since I last took my supplements and I started feeling really, really crap the past couple of weeks, literally no energy genuinely i just wanted to sleep all day and i felt really nauseous and unwell and it was difficult to get anything done but i started taking supplements again normal ones this time just over the counter ones and i already feel quite a bit better so i suspect that was what it was but as a result i haven't been super creative for the past few weeks i've managed to sort of tick off admin tasks off my to-do list slower than I would usually <laughs> be able to do them but sort of gradually managed to but creative tasks were near impossible I just couldn't get the brain fog to go away and since I feel a bit better I I'm gonna try and work in my sketchbook a bit today and try and kickstart my creative energy again <laughs> after this long while um, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna start off with my daily doodle in my daily doodle diary. <laughs> Probably one of my first videos of 2021 will be a tour of this guy. I haven't managed to draw every single day of this year but I have managed to keep up with as much of a daily habit as possible better than I've ever managed in the past if that makes sense. I've never attempted to draw every single day of a year in my entire life. I think the most I've ever drawn in one long continuous span of time has been Inktober's. But I'll talk a little bit more about it when I do an actual sketchbook tour of this diary. But I'm going to start today with my daily sketch in here. 
and usually that helps me get into the creative mood and it makes me want to draw some more into my proper sketchbook so hopefully that is what's going to happen now I did an art trade with a fellow artist on Instagram, he's amazing, he does comics and all sorts of stuff. I love his work, so I received it the other day and I wanted to show you. He sent me so much stuff, it's all beautiful. <laughs> he sent me three of his comics, like I can't wait to read them, so many prints. And he sent me so, <laughs> so many stickers. They're so pretty. His work is so cool. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll put him in the description below with all his social media stuff. And a second really lovely artist sent me a gift. She designed some socks with some eyes on them. And I'm a sucker for anything with stylized eyes on it. And so she sent me a pair of those socks that she designed. And she also sent me a print of her work, which is really awesome. And I'll put her link and social medias in the description also if you'd like to check her out. Anyway, I thought I'd shout out some lovely people who sent me some amazing things. So today is the day before Christmas Eve. I'm going to be spending the rest of the day working on little gift for my patrons. Um, every year at Christmas I give them a downloadable postcard design. So I'll probably do a small painting for the rest of the afternoon and upload it tonight for them. And then I'll probably spend the rest of the evening making some 
Christmas decorations. I usually go home to France every year where my family lives for Christmas. I've done that ever since I moved to the UK. But obviously I decided against doing that this year. And so it's going to be my very first Christmas away from my family. And so it sort of gave me the desire to make our flat more Christmassy and cosier and more festive. I already went out and picked a bunch of holly and decorated the house with that. My boyfriend has an artificial tree that he's had for a few years from before we met, so we put that up and decorated that. But our decorations are fairly basic, so I want to spruce it up a little bit and have some fun with some crafts. I found a TikTok of someone who made some little uh, yarn gnomes. I made one the other day and <laughs> I'm in love, it's so cool. I'm probably going to do more of that today. I've also been making some paper stars and I don't know, just it's nice to step out of what I usually do creatively and do something a little bit different and just for the fun of it really. And then the next couple of days will be Christmas. So I'm going to jump into making my little Patreon postcard and I'll end the video on the footage of me painting it. But before I go, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of you for supporting me this year, for watching my content, for being so genuinely wonderful in the comments and for buying my stuff and for just reaching out and being incredibly wonderful. I, um, I always appreciate you and I appreciate you even more this year. Christmas is a weird time of year and I think this year particularly a lot of us are going to be away from our families and a lot of people will have lost someone. It's going to be tough, I think, this end of year for a lot of people. And uh, I just wanted to let you know that as far as I'm concerned, I am immeasurably grateful for all of you. And I hope that you're okay. And if you're not okay, I hope that you are at least surrounded with love. Whether that be the love of loved ones or your love for yourself. Um, hopefully both but if you don't have a support system that's there to help you out know that I personally am really really grateful for you I know it sounds really abstract said by someone who has never met you in person you see bits of my life online but for all intents and purposes I am a stranger and you are a stranger to me but that doesn't mean that you haven't impacted my life in incredible ways even just if you only ever watch my videos every so often just that is so incredibly lovely it brings a lot of joy to my life it brings a lot of happiness it allows me to do a job that I value more than um, anything I've ever achieved words will feel a bit empty because it's difficult to express just how grateful I am but I hope that you, the person behind that screen watching me, I hope you're okay and I just want to say a personal thank you, just, you know, thank you, not just a abstract audience behind my screen, genuinely just you watching right now, I, you're pretty great and I hope you know that, I hope you know that you have it in you to show kindness and generosity to a complete stranger on the internet who's just trying to create some pictures and that in itself is pretty generous and wonderful of you and I hope you know that that spark of kindness in you is there and that you are truly appreciated for it. So regardless of whether you celebrate Christmas or any other celebrations or nothing at all this year, I hope you're okay. I thank you very very much for being here, both with me on this channel and in life in general. I hope the next few days are not going to be too tough. I hope that you're going to be okay. I hope that you will be able to take good care of yourself and be kind and generous to yourself too, as you have been to me. And I look forward to hopefully having your company again very soon. Take really really good care of yourself. You deserve it. See you very soon. Um, Thank you for everything. Bye.